Hello guys, welcome to HFV. It's really fun to see you because I really thought that episode number 23 was my last before Christmas. But after it, on a sleepless night, I thought, well, what about traveling to a country? A country where vaccination certificates are still enough to visit. Football is still being played and spectators are allowed as well. Now, these three criteria were matched by France. So today's destination from my residence in Budapest, Hungary is going to be France and it's going to be the very western city of Bordeaux. The game we are visiting there is of course a league own game, so a French first division game round 19. Gironde under Bordeaux is facing Lille. The current table of league own shows us that there are four places and eight points between the two teams. Bordeaux is 15th and Lille is 11th, while Lille are last year's league own champions, so it's really a bad spell for them, but it's even worse for Bordeaux, while both are historical teams. But Bordeaux is really close to the relegation zone right now. I was really happy last season when Lille could win league and breaking the dominance of PSG, but now it doesn't quite look like that. They're, they aren't even near. And although they progressed to the round of 16 of the Champions League, it doesn't show in the league table. Today's home team, Girondin de Bordeaux, was founded in 1881. They are six time champions four times cup winners and three times league cup winners. Today's away side Lille were founded in 1944, last year's champions, altogether four times French champions and six times cup winners. Looking at the last five head-to-head -head games of these two teams, four were won by Lille and one by Bordeaux, but the one Bordeaux won was more than three years ago. So despite Bordeaux playing at home today, we can say that Lille has a much bigger chance because of the standings and because of the head-to-head -head games. The venue of today's match is Nouveau Stade de Bordeaux, which is known as Matmut Atlantic for sponsorship reasons. It has a capacity of 42,115 people. This stadium was built for the Euro 2016 held in France and my world, look at it, how beautiful it really looks. It, it's really like a museum from outside. I mean, I swear this is one of the most beautiful stadiums in the whole world in the football culture. And that's part of the reasons why I'm really much looking forward for today's travel. So let's see this spectacular venue with our own eyes. Let's go, let's leave to the airport. arrived in Bordeaux guys this is the Péberlon square behind me it's a historical square with a, a cathedral and a statue and, and many sites the city itself has a population of 230,000 people approximately and with this the ninth biggest in France by population such a historical downtown look at this even this restaurant it looks amazing with these old buildings Christmas tree stylish Cathedral. Quite late now, I visited my accommodation already and before it I took some photos which you see on the screen right now of these sites when they were lit up still. Bordeaux is an extremely beautiful city so it's definitely worth a few days of your time if you have possibilities to, to visit this French city. But until that I'd recommend you my city tour vlog of Bordeaux. I'm gonna place a link in the description. It's gonna be available a few days after this stadium vlog. Our match is tomorrow on the 22nd of December so let us sleep a bit. Okay my friends, uh, day is gone in between and as you see it's dark again and you don't believe where I am. Actually the last side of my city tour vlog was Matmut Atlantic and I'm here I'm here at the stadium of Bordeaux it's three hours to go until kickoff so uh, I think I'm still gonna go back to my accommodation but now let's have a look around as I saw the fan shop is not open but there are some smaller stands with uh, Bordeaux memorabilia and by the way it was a logo kind of problem at Bordeaux because the leadership changed the logo of the club in 2020 so last year and they changed just appearing on the screen they changed to a much simpler one i personally really don't like it i think it's disgusting sorry for this and, and the fans were mad about it and they changed it back but it's still on the shirt so i'm gonna be curious how, what kind of memorabilia have back the old one again with all the symbols and uh, and which have the new one which is like uh, 
being edited in paint really so I'm really happy that they, they got back to the traditional logo because it's about branding clubs and, uh, and football as we know history is much more important than the branding because you already have dozens of sponsor logos on your stadium on your shirt so let's let's not make a, a brand logo the the crest of the team so it's really good to see the old logo back by the way this here symbolizes the river garonne the river of bordeaux Okay, as you see, the shirt is still with the with the new logo. I was wrong, actually. The fan shop is open, so let's look inside. Well, I usually buy art pennants, but there was one in the fan shop, but only with the new logo. So what I bought is a keychain of Bordeaux. It's really nice. It's with the old logo, with the traditional one. By now, there are less than two hours to go until kickoff. So I decided not to go back to my accommodation, actually. What you should know about visiting Bordeaux, my ticket was nine euros, which is uh, it's actually really cheap. So it was a really, really great price. I was surprised as well. The stadium itself is located outside the city so just next to the border it's about half an hour by public transport from the city center. Mass of people here already which makes me think it's gonna be an excellent atmosphere inside. It's just two days before Christmas and definitely even more people came than usually. just walked around this beautiful stadium it's one hour and 20 minutes to go until kickoff time to go inside I really like every single part of this stadium design look at it we just go up the stairs stylishly lit up sponsor logo you can see all the people there hi there last Christmas in the background Let's say after its look from outside, it does not disappoint in the inside either. Here we go. in two minutes in this amazing stadium as you see the ultra sector was full and the other sector is about half full match on the way Bordeaux starts the game chance in the very first minute keep his ball really big chance now for Bordeaux great skill and it's blocked Yamaha yeah, inside the penalty box. It's out for a corner. 11th minute corner for Bordeaux. Nobody at the end of it. Goal kick. Corner for Bordeaux. And the keeper's ball. Lille on the counter attack. Really big chance now. Burak Yamaha inside the box. Cleared for a corner, but this is a really big chance. Bordeaux on the attack again, really good skill. Cross is there, and it's in! One nil for Bordeaux. Look at 
the happy crowd. the home side leads really great atmosphere pretty for Lille at 23rd minute and keepers ball corner comes in head is there just past the post Lille's biggest chance so far this was the closest so far but an offside decision Renato Sanchez there Goals there, 1-1. One, one. Lille equalizes in the 33rd minute. So 1-1, one, one, a pretty enjoyable match so far. Chance for a cross. We just saw Buak Yilmaz, one of the best players of Turkey, get a yellow card. comes in again, cut it away. Bogdog gets the ball back. Out for a corner. 40 with yeah. really big chance. Here's the lead again. He squeezes it in just before the halftime whistle. Bogdo leads again and both goals were scored by Albert Elis. Two additional minutes at the end of the first half. And of the first half, huge applause rightfully because Bogdo leads against Lille. Really satisfied with this first half. I think it was last time in Sweden when I saw first half enjoyable as this. 64% possession for Lille and only 36 for Bordeaux, but Bordeaux had eight shots and two on target. Lille had five shots and one on target. So actually the number of the goals are reflecting the shots on target. What I really like about this game is that it's an open attacking play, definitely better attack than defense, but, but both teams are capable of uh, going forward and, and they do it as well. So this makes the game really enjoyable and looking forward to the second half. Let's start it. So now, if both those scores in this half, we're gonna see them celebrating in front of the Ultra Sector. We would see the full Ultra Sector just blow up, so uh, I wish this happens. Yeah, it was outside. I just had a look at my recording, so right decision from the referee. Lille's corner just over the bar. Big chance now for Lille. Fourth minute, the second half is not action packed as the first half was. The empty sector is the away sector originally. Balil fans are everywhere actually in the stadium. Mixed with the home supporters. Chances and attacking power are totally missing now. We are 22 minutes into the second half. Yes! <laughs> it's in, but it's offside again. Second offside goal for Lil. 68th minute. You couldn't see it on the video, but the player who gave the assist was offside. 
Lille on the attack again. He gives a penalty. Burak Yama steps up. 2-2. Two, two. 77th minute equalizer for the away team. We can't say they didn't deserve it because they scored two of side goals before and they were on the attacking front many more times than Bogdo. So it's 2-2. Really big chance for Lille again. Possibility for a cross. Really good skill inside the box. Another skill. This was too much. The possibility is there for a shot. Shot is there. Gets the ball back. Three, two. Away lead in the second half. They just turn it around. And the choreography with the celebration. Looks like that the stronger team is going to get the three points. Chance for Bogdo now. Clear the way. 90 minutes are over three additional minutes. It's over. Lille takes all the three points home from the Mass Mid Atlantic. Let's look at the results of League in Round 19. PSG couldn't win in Lorient. Lyon drew at home. And Marseille drew at home as well. It's Bordeaux Lille. 2-3 Bordeaux is down to the 17th spot which is just one above the relegation playoff place so it's really a bad situation for them and Lille are up Lille are up three places so now there are 11 points between these two teams I hope that you could enjoy today's stadium vlog guys this is definitely the most beautiful stadium I've been in so far final score Bordeaux Lille 2-3 see you next time after Christmas goodbye